Must have driven down here a million times. Still brings the ears up on the back of my neck though. Look at that, eh? What a feeling. You know, they say that home is where the heart is, and my heart definitely lies here. At first services, Bolton. She's my first, my last, my everything. Just getting the windows to wipe down, I'll tell young Matthew. Filthy. Pearl Harmon has been the manageress of the Bolton Services for four years. Morning, Brian. Mr. Bitsum. Today's just another day for the staff of the services, but not for local DJ Paul Leroy. He's here to drum up support for local radio station Chorley FM as it bids for an FM licence. It's 8am and time for day shift roll call. Morning, team. You may or may not have realised that we've got a camera crew in today from Channel 4 in London and they're here today doing a documentary on our services. Just giving a little bit of an insight into what goes on. So, Alison, are you chewing? Spit it out, please, love, in the bin. It's like dragging nails down a blackboard. Spit it out, will you? Have you gotten about a little chat we had yesterday? So it's soon? It's been a day off. Pardon? It's been a day off. You're in today because you're a team player girl and because Adina's has fallen in sick with a water infection. That's why you're in today. Mr Hughes never falls in on our days off. Mr Hughes is long gone and you could quite easily be joining him. Think on, young lady. Suits me. Pardon? Suits me. Showing off. After a failed marriage and expulsion from his job with the RAC, Alan McClarty formed his very own motor recovery service, the ARC. Excuse me, love. I need to share one of these. Obviously not. It's that fine red that soaks you through. It's, it's funny, really. You see, I think I'm sitting on a gold mine with this business. You see, other road companies, they don't treat the staff half as well as I do. You see, I'll name them, I don't care. You can bleep it out later. The AA, the RAC, I was with the RAC for 14 years before they showed me the door. They showed me the door. Could it interest you two guys in any ARC road insurance? It's a no, company. All right, thanks. We're already in there, thanks. Are you sure? Yep. All right. This is ARC, not RAC. So, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. The fuse might want changing or it might just want rewiring. If it gets too hot, get me or Sonia or alternatively, just throw a blanket over it. Right, anybody, any questions? We're going to tell them that for this lot being here. What? Standard equity rate, surely. One word, Terry. Job club. Right, let's go and do it to them before they do it to us. Do what to who? Uh, so that's a foot spa, a health spa, and a £20 voucher for your local spa, so near so. Three fantastic prizes, and all available today on Charlie FM, your favourite waste of time. You're my wine. You're my favorite waste of time. Mine, Who's that, Dick? Matthew is a part-time customer care assistant who's in the last year of a drama degree. <laughs> Don't fall. Look at this. Is he all right? Don't fall on that floor. I want you suing me. Matthew's becoming increasingly frustrated with his job at the services and longs for the smell of the grease paint rather than that of the toilet. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at this. Don't come in here. That, no, that, dis that disgusts me. Why can't people flush the filthy bastards? Look at it. It's not that, it's just... And the smell, it smells like a rotten Alsatian, doesn't it? They should know after last Easter. Yeah, it's on Channel 4. Yeah, I know, I can't believe it either. And you never know, Carol might get covered at Radio Times. See Gavin Alroy's face when he sees that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, might get a chat show. Yeah, never thought of that. Esther, Kilroy. Mm, well, look at that mole. She'll have passed the driving test. She had a record in top 40. And they did a bloody life. You see that? Oh, yeah, Carol. Might get a taste of that eye life you read about, eh? Mmm. Mind up in Mary Claire. Hey, Monty, there's corned beef open already! 
Don't point that thing at me. Look at the state of me. I'm not happy. I'm going to kill Adina. She never does any prep. Leaves me to do it all. Then she calls in sick with a water infection. Yeah, right. Funny out was the sister's end night last night. She did this to me last week. She called in sick. Supposedly she had a bad leg. Anyway, I know for a fact she didn't, because our Jason saw her that night in Club XS, off her face, dancing on the podium doing the macarena. That's not long. Anyway, she waltzes in the next day, reeking a tear Maria. Hands me a sick note, then buggers off. I'm surprised she doesn't have that sick note laminated. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it here. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm ready. I'm tired. I think, I think, I think I've got ME. You know, I'm always tired. I'm always here and all. <sighs> and I was up all night learning my lines. Got a big final production next week. I've got six monologues to learn. We're doing a lecture by Sophocles. I'm Orestes, the son of Agamemnon. Can you believe that? That's a laugh. I've got to work up enough motivation to stab my own mother for four nights and a matinee at a hospice. Look at that shine. Success for Charlie FM depends on Paul Leroy getting enough listeners to support their FM license application. But Paul's not happy, and the position that he's been given at the far end of the car park is far from ideal. Oh, screw this, this is bollocks, I'm not happy with this. Paul goes off to complain, but in his absence, another problem arrives. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is services. We're stopping here for 10 minutes and 10 minutes only. So don't get in a meal, right? When I say 10 minutes, I mean 10 minutes, right? It's just a leg stretch. Boss, bossy les services. Revenez, ECN. These, these minutes for the French, these minutes. No meal, this is a pantalon, a leg stretch, right? Okay, and don't get any cans of pop because they can roll under the foot pedals and cause a major road accident. All right, so think on. I think they should hang joyriders on the night. They bring back capital punishment, hang people on the national lottery. Excuse me, sir. Can I hear Hang them on the national lottery. And when the body drops, the foot says the ball's rolling. You know what I think? What on a Wednesday? What on a, excuse me, sir. Sorry, love. Fucked that up, didn't I? Right. Uh, she give me some shit about environmental health. So at least it's brightening up. Oh, no way! Forget that. My name's Utah. That's my Wild West name. My real name's Craig. No, I like that. I said it was a Wild West shake, that. Like that. You watch my trigger finger. That's it. See? What's this on? Channel 4? Hmm? It's not on Channel 5, is it? Bloody garbage, that. You seen that? It's all quiz shows and repeats. Mind you saying that, I don't see much TV, you know, driving these girls around. She's stuck it out of me this morning. She's thirsty. She's an 80-gallon for breakfast. No danger. I used to drive a sister ship, you know, she's a big girl, I know, but Dougie's... Dougie, my mate, he's took that to uh, Ruth Maddock on a mystery tour. Rather him than me in this weather. No, the big girls, the pair of them, and... Uh, Sailing through some of these small villages, it's like threading the eye of a needle. I am Orestes, the son of Agamemnon. Son of the warlord who led the Greeks to Troy. Hold on. Today, today we are in Argos, the ancient line you, la, land you pined for and long to see again. What do you think? It's supposed to be a Greek tragedy. The director wants to update it. The, the 60s gangland London. That will make it a friggin' tragedy. Once it all 
craze and cashmere long coats. Look if I get duffel coats. He's all, he smokes straw, uh, joints and you know on, on the on the set. Um, last week, someone somebody walked leaves in the bottom of the shoes, right? But it was raining. You just walked them in naturally, you know. He comes down. Who's walked leaves in, right? And we're all just looking at one another like we we'll all have, you know. Was well, just quiet for about ten minutes, and then I says, "I like it. I like it." Go and bag some up. Had us outside with carrier bags, filling them up with leaves and putting them in, throwing them all around the set. Let's bring the outside inside. Let's bring the outside inside. Pick that up, please. Were there a couple sat in front of you? Yeah, that French couple. Yeah. Uh, queuing with a tray. You are? I saw him queuing with a tray. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh. Give him an inch. Give him an inch. Excuse me. He lives with Shabbat Sabir FC Road Insurance. Did you say that in English? He lives with Shabbat Sabir FC Road Insurance. All right. Thank you very much. Fucking smart ass. It's getting beyond a joke, this. I've got to pick up in bands, little one. Bloody French, they can't speak a word of English. Of the many things that can disrupt the smooth running of the services, it's Utah's missing French tourists who will cause the most trouble today. So I says to her, I says, ball job or no job. <laughs> They're getting on a National Express, that couple. What? They're getting on a National Express. Oh, bollocks to this. Come on, we're going. They can make their own way to Windermere. The coach is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. It's one o'clock yes. and there are clouds on Pearl's horizon. Yes, well, there's going to be plenty of coaches coming into the car park with services. A French couple? Not to my knowledge, no. I'm, I'm very busy, I have enough in play. I can't be dealing with people getting, getting back on their own coaches. I have enough to do. What? I'm, not to my knowledge, I'm a... Well, it's NMP, love. Not my problem. Bye-bye. They've a damn cheek, National Express, falling up here. Apparently a French couple have got on one of their coaches instead of the one that... I can't be responsible for people getting on their own coaches. It's not my problem. I have enough of my play. If I had a pound for every person who got back on their own coach and left by coaches in this place, I'd be a millionaire. I'd have four pound for this week, I tell you. Nobody else than you. July 83, this. Ryan Paris, the only one, the only hit he ever had. Classic, that, this, all this, classic, 80s. I get persecuted for playing 80s, but, you know, to them, you know, it's just brilliant, isn't it, you know? I mean, 80s, it was the classic time, that, you know, people say it was like the 60s, but it, it was the 80s, you know, where everybody knew what they were doing, and those who were there, remember, some was endless, and every year something different happened, you know. Dolce Vita there by Ryan Paris. Apparently, we're all living our lives in a Dolce Vita. Come down, it's Charlie FM, it's coming at you. Uh, it's coming in your ears, so come down, you know, don't be, don't be frightened with the weather, we're carrying on regardless. So uh, come down, let's see you down here. And here we go with Anika, and apparently this is from 81, another one hit wonder, and she's having problems with a Japanese boy. You're listening to... Yeah. Another hit from the 80s. That's right, here we go with Anika. Listen to this. Classic. See, the 80s, everyone was crazy, you know, they were, no one cared, they're out of their minds. I fractured my femur, listen to this, I fractured my femur, limbo dancing in Pontins in 82. I drove back six hours towing a caravan. Never felt a thing, I thought it was wind the whole way back. Listen, listen to this, you couldn't buy this. This is the classic. Oh, I know, that was a bit of a low point in my life because I spent a lot of time in Bolton Royal Infirmary after about four weeks. And, you know, I stumbled into uh, hospital radio, Radio Lollipop. Turned out that that broken femur turned out to be the break I've been searching for. I was with them for, for you know, I joined them and started doing fundraising events, charity events, and now that's led to this, Charlie FM, and fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. Well, it's not my problem, Gavin, is it? This is this bloody French couple. They're up the M6 now having deployments. Listen to it. 
Well, they want to put the clocks back an hour. They're in England now. We invented time. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I can't be held responsible for negligent coach drivers or French tourists who can't tell the difference between brown and blue. Because we're chock a block down here today, Gavin. Yes, we're talking double figures. Yes. Well, ring Molly Sarnel. That's the best advice I can give to you. Stand furry hand to you too and all. He's a cheeky get, that Gavin, all right. He used, to, he used to work here. He used to mop toilets under me before he got lured over to Lancaster as lodge manager, all exotic. The bloody French. We, me and Ardeen, we got caught up in Depp in 93 in one of them <clears throat> tractor and truck disputes. Eight hours. And nasty. They were setting fire to sheep at one point. Especially they weren't that bolshy in 1939 when we needed them, huh? We're doing a bit of good then. The RAC wanted me out of the picture, right? 14 years, I gave them everything. I was a patsy. I was a bloody patsy. Alan Harvey Oswald, that was me. Wrong place, wrong time. The face didn't fit. She was 15. She, she was 15 and a half, right? Or six months. She looked much older, especially wearing that basque. That's brilliant, Irene. Thanks. I owe you one for this. Oh, that's great news. Thanks. OK, thanks. Don't forget to book me in for Tuesday. OK, Irene, bye. Brilliant. We've got a celebrity coming this afternoon. TV's own Bob Carroll G's from um, Hall Tight and Tiswas. He's going to be coming into services. Irene Kershaw's been mobile her dresser. She's been giving Bob's niece some highlights. He's phoned up from his mobile. He's on his way up to see her up the 61. He's going to call into services. We're the only services on the 61. That's fantastic news. Great. Well, a couple of frame photographs for the foyer. I'll give our Keith a ring and bring his camera down. We've not had a celebrity through since last August. We had that Bill Bermont through, that rugby player. He were a miserable get. He had a tenner's worth of on lead, an orange euro and buggered off. Oh, this is great. I wonder if he'll have his uh, spit the dog with him, you know. Apparently he's never without it. It's like his other arm. Yeah. Hey, we'll be needing these if we're going to DEFCON 5. It's a familiar drill for the staff at the services. And all the stops are pulled in anticipation of the arrival of a celebrity. You just see Bob Carlgy's red in this, couldn't you? Chief Leader to First Eagle, over. Chief Leader to First Eagle, do you read me? I can see her, she's over there. Hmm. Chief Leader to First Eagle, are you there or what? Answer me, over. Yes, I'm here, Miss Hardman, fat bitch. First Eagle, when you clean the ride, give those windows a wipe down and use the proper cloth. As opposed to what? Yes, over. First Eagle, have you heard me? Yes, I've heard you, over. First Eagle, are you there or what? Jesus, I'm here. Push the button on you stupid bitch. I beg your pardon. OK, it's Charlie FM. We've still got three fantastic prizes to give away. A health spa, a foot spa and a £20 voucher for your local spa. It's Charlie FM with the listeners come first. Down here at the services, Bolton, the crowds are gathering, as you can see. So come on and you too can join the Rocksteady crew. Come on, oh, Polaroid. Paul isn't having much luck in raising support for Chorley FM. The crowds are thin on the ground, but Paul's wife Sandra has turned up to offer him some encouragement. You like to see a photograph of the wife? That's her, man. That's Denise. Yeah, God. God, but not forgotten. God, aren't you? Oh, she's watching this, Denise. Hey, you left me in the shit, didn't you? Hey, God. Came home to an empty house. Empty. All she left me was a stock cock and a spider plant. Empty. Clean me out, she did. Lost my job, lost my wife. I stood through that. I stood by her through thick and thin. I stood by that woman, you know? And all because I had a weekend fling with a barmaid called Tina. Matthew is not amused. This is getting beyond a joke now. I'm sure Bob Carroll, has seen soft porn before. He's finding Pearl's celebrity extras an extreme embarrassment. You know, Bob Carroll, geez, used to do adverts for Elman's Mayonnaise at one time. No, we've got a fresh film in there, because last time you had it developed, there were people like that had died. I blame Thelma Louise, though. As soon as she saw those two, she was straight out of that kitchen 
It's straight into night school. It was degree this, module that, got to get a university degree, you know. 90s woman, straight behind her, you know. And the final straw came when I caught her trying to change a plug. I gave her a crack with that. Yeah. It's four o'clock and there's still no sign of either Bob or Spit. Look at this. Look at this. A big celebrity coming this afternoon. Who? You know, you know Richard Harris? Mm. Wild Geese, Charles and the Eight Man. Not him. Bob Carroll jeans and spit the dog, aren't we the lucky ones? Eh? It's hard, man. Sonia's on the phone for you. It's great enough, Oliver, just like your brother. Alison, go easy with them chocolate sprinkles, will you? They're not cheap. Hello, Sonia, yes? Oh, hell. He's... Well, he's here. Oh, Matthew! Matthew, Bob's here! He's where? Oh, piss. Matthew, he's... He's, all, he's southbound, lad. He's over the other side of the road. He's over the road! Get over there, will you? He's here! Alas, Bob and Spit came and went, along with the rest of the travellers who passed through the services. Paul Leroy and Sandra pack up the equipment. No, 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 get that. The day has been a washout for Chorley FM. Hurry up, it's raining. Right. But for the staff of the services, it's the end of just another working day. You can have tomorrow off if you like. Oh, I've got... Adina's phoned in, she's coming in. Besides, you got covered today, didn't you? So... If you're sure, I mean, I didn't mind. No, I ain't quick before I change your mind. <laughs> forty-two pound. For that, for only forty-two pound, you get a roadside recovery, road start relay, and you, you can screw my wife for all. Hey, hey, I'll throw that on the floor. Bastard, these cost funny to print. Excuse me, sir. Not here to see it all. Would you? Um, bollocks. Why a fucking bother? Right then, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I'm off tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you Thursday then. No, you won't see me Thursday. I've got a day off, thank God. I was saying that I've got a roll of lino coming. They'll probably be putting that down till dinner. Uh, Friday. You won't see me Friday. I'm over the road. We're leaving for Sonia. I'll see you Saturday then, yeah? Yes, you'll see me Saturday. Yeah. Okay, Alison. Bye bye. Ciao. As one shift ends, another begins. Going now, a safe. I left them keys hanging up for you. I've done the rotors for the next three weeks. All right. If there's any problem, don't ring me. It won't be long before Pearl is back for yet another working day at the services, Bolton. Well, another one bites the dust, as Freddie would say. You missed a bit, Brian. Next week. Pearl has trouble with the toilets. I don't care whose it is, I don't care what it is, it's floating. Matthew has first night nerves. Oh, hey, you bastard! Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, get out of here. Hey. And Alan finally has a breakdown. We will! We will rock you! That's next we week at will. The Services. We will, we will rock you!